you must have a strong end to the week and not a weekend. And that is exactly why I come to the scene to make sure your fun quotient is elevated with highlights and updates of everything that's happening in your city. So just relax and spend the best 30 minutes of your day with me Priya on your favorite show Z Connect. We can have fun at home, right? So why can't we have fun at work? Well, our guest today lives by this thought and turns the world into his playground by exploring boundaries and taking leaps. Jump right in to know more about him and his work. Hi, my name is Giselle Bozeman. I'm from the U.S. Uh, and I've been in Dubai for three years. Uh, so parkour to me is, it's a hobby and also a way of life. Um, I've been doing parkour for about nine years now and I pretty much compare everything to parkour so it's, it's just a part of it. So I started parkour about when I was seven, and I was inspired by a lot of the movies I watched, um, a lot of the cartoons I watched, and I, at the time, didn't realize that all that stuff was done with computer graphics and strings, and I actually went out and mimicked those, and I got pretty good at the skills. Um, around the time when I was like 15, the word parkour came about, and so since I was already doing it, I just kind of flowed with the uh, movement. Um, so when it comes to my training, um, usually I start off with a warm up and you always want to warm up to make sure the body's ready to go. You never want to just jump into the movement because that's the easiest way to get injuries. Um, after the warm up, I usually try to go, um, I start from the ground up. So building small skills like jumps, um, small climbs, just kind of getting my body active. And then once I feel good enough to go for anything big or anything specific that I've been trying to work on, then um, that's the time to go for it. Uh, soon after, then um, I finish with a light cool down. And then, um, and of course, stretching. Stretching is always important. Uh, parkour is such a, a big aspect, like it's, not just a physical movement, but you can learn so much. You can learn about yourself, um, you know, what it takes to push you, how determined you are. Um, you can also learn coordination, strength, um, you know, your your one-on-one, -on -one, you know, movement uh, as far as like coordination. So, um, so there's risks with everything, uh, but the best thing to work on is to learn how to deal with those risks, minimize them as much as possible. Fall training is a big part of parkour. Um, definitely training at a lower level and making sure you have that down um, is really big to doing the bigger skills. So if you just take your time with the skill, of course there are risks, we all fall, it's inevitable. Uh, but learning how to fall the proper way is the way to minimize that. So Dubai is not so much built for parkour. Everything is uh, kind of spread out. Uh, but in the individual cities, there are gyms. So there's a lot of really cool places that you can uh, train on. Um, 
But the cool thing about parkour is, is that the world is your playground. So as long as you're creative and you're willing to train, you can pretty much find anywhere to train. Parkour always pushes you to go to your next level. And when you're in that moment and you, you're working on a skill that you're having a hard time with, maybe it takes you some months, maybe it takes you like a year to get the skill. And that moment when you finally get that skill down and you're able to do it outside or anywhere, it's just, there's this release of endorphins, like you feel great about it. Um, and uh, one memory I have, uh, there's a skill called a triple calm, um, where you bounce three times on an object with your hands before you land. And uh, the first time I got a chance to do that outside on actual concrete and I was successful, like, that, was, that was a rush of excitement. And I had a bunch of friends around with me too, so the, the hype was even bigger. So yeah, that's a, a big memory I have in parkour. Um, so for beginners, um, I always recommend that you start small. Um, a lot of times, people coming into the sport see the people who have been in the sport for a long time. And so they think that jumping across large buildings or making the most massive flips are what parkour is. But that's only an end result. So of course there are risks, but um, taking your time with the movement mitigates those risks so you don't have so much problems with that. Um, but yeah, I'd just say like at the beginning, start small and uh, take your time. Um, I would say like parkour is for everyone. Um, if, you, if you wanna learn how to move, you want to you know, stay active, it's a great sport for you. Uh, a lot of people are afraid of it because they're afraid to hurt themselves. When in fact, parkour is better for you because it'll teach you how to move around your environment. It'll teach you quick reaction time. Um, it's, it's really good for your endurance, your strength. So I suggest that if you're gonna start parkour, I would say do it. First thing first is getting started. And then second thing, take your time, be patient. Uh, a lot of times when I train people, they sometimes try to catch up to others. Uh, another advice I would have for you guys is just stay in your lane, be patient with your movement, and let the process work for you. Balanced nutrition is good for health and we'll teach you how to make nutritious food at home right after this short break. Welcome back. Cooking is an act of self-care. It's a tool to influence our health and nourish our bodies. Learn the act right from Chef Dipti in Pinch of Health. Hello viewers, welcome to Pinch of Health. I'm your chef, Deepthi Pai. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one of my childhood favorite dishes, chicken kati roll with a slight variation and trying to make it some more healthy. Now let's get to the recipe. In a mixing bowl, take about 250 grams of cubed chicken. To this, I'll be adding about two tablespoons of yogurt just for the marination. You can totally skip this if you don't like yogurt. Add about half teaspoon of chaat masala, half teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of cumin powder, salt to taste. And about a pinch of pepper. Give it all a good mix. Mix it nicely so all the pieces have the marination on it. And then keep this aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'll just toast the wraps lightly. Now that it's done on both the sides, I will be moving it to my serving plate.
Now I'm just gonna keep this aside. Now let's get to cooking. So to the pan, I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil. Heat it and then add the marinated chicken to this. Let this cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. I'm going to just close it so that the steam cooks it well. And halfway through while it's cooking, just give it a quick stir. This needs another five minutes. So meanwhile, I'm going to prepare a filling. In a bowl, take about one cup of tomatoes, half a cup of sliced onions, half teaspoon of chaat masala, half teaspoon of cumin powder, about two tablespoon of hot sauce, and give this all a good quick stir. I'm also going to add about a pinch of salt to this so that the onion wilts quickly. The filling is ready. I'm just going to keep it aside and get back to the chicken. Now that the chicken is done, let's get to assembling the wrap. On the corn wrap, I'm going to add this filling. Layer it with the chicken. Add some low-fat cheese. If you want to balance out the spiciness and the tanginess from this, I would suggest you sprinkle the wraps with some pomegranate seeds. This will give you a very nice crunch and a slight sweetness with every bite. Add a squeeze of lime and wrap it. While you can enjoy this chicken kati roll on their own, I love to have a side dipping sauce with it. Since this has a lot of Indian flavors, today I decided to serve this with a very traditional Indian mint chutney. Now that we're done with the chicken kati roll, let's quickly make a beverage of the day. Today I'm making sweet melon juice. Let's get to making the juice. So in a blender, I'm going to add about one cup of sweet melon. Sweet melons are rich in water content while they're very low in glycemic index. They also boost your immunity, give you a very good glowing skin. They're rich in nutrients and minerals. Now let's start. So to the blender, I'm going to add one full cup of sweet melon, few cubes of ice, about one teaspoon of honey, a squeeze of lemon juice, just about a pinch of cinnamon. Do not add too much because it will overpower the flavors from the sweet melon and then give it a good blend. The sweet melon juice is now ready. Now let's pour the juice in the glass. Just for the presentation, I am going to teach you something. On the rim of the glass, take a wedge of the lemon and take it around. And on the upside down, just dip it on the salt. Give it a two, three rounds. Just out the excess and you're done. To this, I'm going to be pouring the juice. So 
just for the presentation, I'm going to add a slice of lemon and a sprig of mint. Did you see how quick and easy that was? Now, for kids who don't enjoy juice or fruits, you can use the same thing and make popsicles out of them and they taste delicious. And there it is, a very healthy version of the chicken kati roll. I hope you give this a try. Did you see how amazing it is? It's a quick and easy on-the-go kind of recipe. A very hot favorite of the kids. You can change the filling from chicken to anything that you like or make it vegetarian as well. I'm going to enjoy it with the sweet melon juice which is loaded with goodness of health. I hope you guys give these recipes a try. I will see you back again next week with some more amazing recipes. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Let's take a quick recap. For chicken kati rolls, take 250 grams cubed chicken, yogurt 2 tablespoon, chaat masala half teaspoon, half teaspoon chili powder, half teaspoon cumin powder, salt to taste, pinch of pepper. Give it a good mix and keep it aside for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, toast the corn wraps lightly. In a pan, take 1 tablespoon olive oil, cook the marinated chicken for about 10 minutes. In a bowl, take about 1 cup tomatoes, half cup sliced onions, half teaspoon chaat masala, half teaspoon cumin powder, two teaspoon hot sauce, pinch of salt, give it a good stir. On the corn wrap, add the filling and layer it with the chicken. Add some low fat cheese, sprinkle some pomegranate seeds, a squeeze of lemon and wrap it. Enjoy these wraps with mint chutney. For the sweet melon juice, in a blender, Add 1 cup sweet melon, few cubes of ice, 1 teaspoon honey, squeeze of lemon, pinch of cinnamon powder and blend it all together. Let's pour the juice into the glass, garnish with a slice of lemon and a sprig of mint. You can experience gravity with the moon jump or ride a bike to generate energy. Wondering what place we are referring to? Join me after this break to know more. Welcome back. Wonder Lab is a fun exhibit giving kids and families an entertaining and educational experience combining science, art and technology. Let's head down to Wonder Lab at Wafi City for a fresh take on science. My name is Saad. I'm a lab assistant here at Wonder Lab. It's a very fun place. You can visit with your family and enjoy. You can also play different games over here and earn points. It's not only for kids, it's also for adults. Hello, my name is Radin. I'm 10 years old. I love this place and I like the games. I love to be with my mom and play with my mom. I will come back very soon.
Hello, my name is Mishri. I am seven years old. I love this place. My name is Radhima and I'm 13 years old. This was an excellent experience uh, to keep me fit and it was really fun. This is very, very nice place to visit with the family, and she loved it. Obviously, right? It's very educative. Welcome to Wafi. I think uh, we all are pleasantly happy to be back on events. So this is where we see that Dubai and UAE has taken the leap from the world leading the platforms to opening up. Events has been an integral part of being a soul to Dubai, UAE. And Wafi has been on the forefront prior to 2020, but then again, now we're coming back again. We're partners on uh, the campaigns from here onwards bringing in uh, flavors that probably has got family backing to this. As you see the Science Festival up and running, uh, not limited to children, but then again, it's educational, yet it has got everything for the family that to probably look forward for. So I welcome everybody to probably come and be a part of this uh, gamified science uh, platform, which not only gets you to know more about science, got themes that probably are lined for eight weeks, but if you are being a part of the campaign, uh, the whole family is traveling to London to be at the museum and also to pro probably have a four day expense, all expense paid holiday trip. Uh, thankfully, uh, and thanks to Wafi for the campaign that probably they want to actually kickstart the season with this science campaign. That's all for today. This is me Priya taking your leave with a promise to be back next week with many, many interesting stories, events and much more. Your feedback on our social media handles is always appreciated. So please keep that coming. Take care and I'll see you soon.